in the third part of this video series, we're going to be creating an Excel spreadsheet to do all of our approximations for us. We're going to use the same function x squared from 0 to 2 with four subintervals. Here's the template that we have created. The user is going to enter in values for a, b, and n, as well as changing the function of their preference. And the rest of our spreadsheet formulas are going to propagate those summation values automatically. So I'm putting here our calculations that we did by hand so that we know whether or not we're making correct formulas. So I'm putting in a is 0 in cell b7, and 2 in c7, and 4 in d7. So now our formula for delta x is going to go in cell E7. So I type equals and then I click on C7 minus and click on B7, meaning B minus A values, divided by N, which is located in D7, and, and hit enter. Now, this value here is where our first left endpoint is. Well, it starts at our A value. You are going to determine what the correct start values will be for. In column B, we will be placing our X values for our endpoints. So in B12, I click equals and the starting left endpoint X value. And I'm going to create a formula in B13, which is equal to cell B12 plus E7. However, I don't want the value in E7 to change. I want it to always refer back to E7, which is our delta x value. Now you can drag down the lower left corner for as many values as you'd like. In C12, we're going to type equals the x value for our input, and then we're going to square it because that's what our function is doing, and then drag that down once again. Now we're going to calculate our area, so we need to take our delta x value, how wide each rectangle is, and we want this to always refer to cell E7, so we need to do dollar sign E, dollar sign 7, times the height of each of the rectangles. Now I will go about grabbing the lower left hand corner and dragging that formula down so that it will calculate the area of each of our individual rectangles. And as you can see, those values will indeed match what we expected. And up here in cell D10, I'm going to sum cells D12 through D15. And luckily, you can see that it matches the calculations we did by hand.